said before, got second at last week's yep. Xeno, doing a great job shooting up in the, uh, in the placements right there. And uh, Mono has been a player who's been consistently top aiding. I feel like, like Mono and Slingshot used to be, you know, kind of sharing that seventh, fifth slot a lot yeah, of the times. Yeah, agreed. Uh, but let's see if Slingshot's recent uh, performance will carry through this week or whether Mono can maybe uh, grab a nice win for himself and maybe take him all the way to second place. We'll no, see. Uh, like I've been, I've been noticing recently, a lot of our players who have typically gotten, like, you know, fifth, uh, between fifth and, like, just eighth or seventh or seventh, have been doing so well recently, have been improving so much. And I, I love seeing everyone's improvement, like, Ah, yeah. this is really happy. So something like, like someone like Slingshot and both Mono, who like you said, were doing so like Ooh. not as well as they used to, are doing just like, going crazy recently. It's like Mono right now has a really great lead on Slingshot, and he has to, again, Slingshot has to be really careful with uh, with Mono and these amazing like spacing and reads that he gets on his opponents. Yeah, at the same time though, Diddy Kong and his banana, one of the best tools against those sword characters. You don't have to worry about going into forward air range. If he throws out a forward air, it's not particularly long lasting and you can just throw a banana and punish as a result. And something that, oh yeah, just like that'd be a great start for a slinging shot. But I was gonna say, you know, something that Mono always does is full hops. He's, I typically never really see him do many short hops. And you can, as Diddy, you can really capitalize on that by using banana, by using, uh, you know, the peanut, the peanut gun. And, and also just catching him with a lot of Diddy up uh, aerials. Yeah, and you'll see actually, also the banana throw itself can cover that full hop. Yes. Uh, but Mono really trying to find this kill. And one of the weaknesses of Marth is that you know, less consistent with the kill power, but Mono's spacing is always so good. He's looking for it, and right there, throwing out all these moves from a third of the stage away, rushes in there with that pivot F tilt. That's going to take the stock and keep things very even. Ooh. That was great. But from what Mono just did was that he covered the roll. Diddy uh, or Slingshot realized that, did neutral get up, and Marth's speed was like it was fast enough for him to actually get that last kill by just coming in as fast as he did. So you know what? Great timing on Mono, but right now, Ooh, that's, he, death. that's death. The air dodge off ledge, that's instant. That's, that's yeah, basically death. He got his jump caught. Mm -hmm. He got the jumps we already saw before when Mono was facing off against uh, Devin, that when Mark loses his double jump and he's off stage, it's so, so much harder for him to get back because that crescent slash doesn't cover that much distance. Oh, oh, oh you did? Oh, Ooh. he got that tipper, though. Yeah, he got a tipper, we've been gone. That would have been game. Oh, it would have been at least oh, an stopped. even match. Yeah. <laughs> it's been stopped. It's not fun. I'm getting hyped. Oh, but here, you know, I will say, Marth with a banana, also quite terrifying. But, yeah, right now, Nano really hoping to find that kill. But, oh, man, the Diddy Kong is so fast. It's hard for him to occupy the exact space he needs to to find those tipper hitboxes. Wow, I'm loving this, this like... These kind of plays by Slingshot at the moment using Banana for Steve Kim, but also those backers are doing wonders for him by catching Mono like in mid air like that. Let's see. Ooh, and oh, man, finally those side B. It's such a good move, and especially when your opponent forgets wow. about it. The anti air up tilt. We've been seeing Mono throw out a lot of those up tilts near the end of that stock. Things are still looking pretty grim for him. 134% means that a banana kills down tilt, I think will also kill. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're seeing Slingshot play a lot more grounded right now. Didn't is. even need the down oh. tilt. Mar <laughs> okay, Mar. Did he, Did he jump right there? Is that why he got caught by the up smash? Uh, More, I, I would bet yes. On the replay here. Yes. He, I, I think he did. Oh, no, no he, no, he, he came from a jump. Yeah. Let's actually, did he do any kind of action right here? We minus 10 frames. Uh, the minus 10 frames again. All right. Let's see here. I think he was just... I think he just got scooped he up. He was trying to dash back. Yes. He had time to shield that, but we see the very beginnings of Mars dash away, which is a pretty good option. You know, you'll see he scrunches himself down a little bit, but that first hitbox, the one that sucks you in from Diddy Kong up smash, was still connecting on his foot right there, which is why Marth got trapped in it himself. And he tried going over to this direction, but of course got trapped by the foot, and that that would be the game for him. Damn. Here we go, going over a small, uh, it's not about a field, two platforms up. Uh, I would agree with this, with this kind of pick for, for Mono, honestly. Gives Marth a little bit more, uh, well, gives Diddy less place to kind of run, yeah, away, run around. He was really running all mm -hmm. over the place. Mono could not lock him down, which normally that's 
one of the best things Mono can do. Trap his opponents in the corner, just get all of this percent that way. And the fact that he wasn't able to do that, because Diddy Kong has options. So maybe shortening the stage a little bit, making it easier to possibly punish those monkey flips could be a path to victory. <gasps> Oh, trying to get the essence right there, but not really quite going to be able to get it at that moment. I think he was hoping he would land on a platform and tech roll to the right, but he wasn't even uh, close enough for it. He has the reads. He does. He's just... Slingshot just doesn't do what, it, what he expects him to do. <laughs> yeah. Mostly would have... I, I think mostly would have definitely tech roll over to the other side of the stage. And that wouldn't, wouldn't have gotten that up smash. But right now we... Oh! oh! Just like you were saying earlier with the ledge like situations where you where you jump off and you don't have as much invincibility when you don't well, land right back. Well, right there was just a strict re-grab. Yep. He had no invincibility. Nothing. He could have buffered an option at that point, but I guess he was just hoping that Slingshot wasn't going to capitalize. And capitalize he did. This is actually a really big lead. But Mono managed Beautiful. to clean yep. it up without taking a single hit. And that's exactly what you want. You don't want any extra credit for your opponent. You want yourself to make this as even as possible and capitalize on what Mars is great for on these kind of battle, on this kind of stage. You're close to him. You can't run around, and he can lock you in so easily, knowing Ooh. these limited options you have on these platforms. That banana throw down was so good right there. Doesn't have the banana that time, and he's going to get caught on the air dodge. This is some solid damage onto Slingshot. And now we're seeing those tipper okay. hitboxes. Oh, he wanted the very tipper. He delayed it even still, but Slingshot's just not getting... I, is, his, is this DI on his part? Is it a mistiming on Mono's? I don't know, but Slingshot getting away with not eating the worst of these punishes. And that's, and that's amazing for Slingshot. You don't want to get the, the back end of these tippers. You don't want... You, you absolutely, that's the last thing you want as Diddy, because it, it, it will take you uh, off the stage. Especially that from that ledge, absolutely. <laughs> Now what, now what are we doing here? I mean, he's, that up tilt's <laughs> been working out for him. Oh, he has oh, no jump. No. This is death. That's evil. That's evil! <gasps> Honestly, no, it's it's optimal. It's optimally evil. That I was think <laughs> Mono hypothetically maybe would have made it back if he didn't touch him. So, yeah, he, I mean, he, he did touched pretty him pretty far enough. I think Dolphin Slash actually would have brought him back. And, and Slingshot was like, no, we're going to make sure that you're down. You cannot come back from this. Yeah, and actually it's interesting. Normally Mono, a player known for getting his edge, uh, his stocks from the player being at the ledge, he's the one who's dying off the stage or like you know, just trapped in the corner. I'm, I'm loving the control that Mono has gained for himself, even though he has a, st a stock deficit at the moment. He is doing amazing at doing these read rolls. Oh my god. Doing these read rolls and getting the, the attacks that he wants, running up on Diddy whenever he has to. Now, falling up there was so, so beautiful. But it wasn't beautiful enough, but the up throw left. Actually, finally taking it. Mono, very smart. He did not mm -hmm. stale it earlier when he got the grab. And for that reason, we now have an extremely even game here. Mono actually has Banana in hand. It can help him get out of the corner. He's just going to throw no, it away. Goes, goes. I think Banana would be so useful. When he, get, when he gets those jab locks, he gets... He, he would benefit so much from using that banana in order to respawn him. Oh, right now we have something really crazy for Mono. No jump! He's amazing at these, up, no at jump. The, these anti-airs. Oh, drifting over to the side. Great sling on, on great, great on slingshot, but dangerous situation for himself at the moment. And we're seeing some of these panic monkey flips coming out from slingshot. That's something that if Mono is ready for it, he can punish that brutally. It can be difficult, but I think at this point he's hungering for that final way to take a stop. And there it is. Get up from the ledge. That's just right in the tipper spacing. Fantastic stuff from Mono taking that game pretty decisively on that last stop. He. Mono realized that Slingshot does neutral get up a lot. And I also just want to quickly point out, look at all these dashbacks that he does. He was so prepared for that uh, for the monkey flip is the big thing he was looking for. Mm -hmm. Like that dashback, if he had chosen to go for a ledge jump monkey flip, would have killed him right there. But instead, he's always able to just dash and then put himself in the exact position for the tipper hitbox. It's just great stuff from Mono, evening up the game count and bringing us to a game three between these two. So we're going over to Kalos, a interesting counter pick for a slingshot against uh, Mono. I think those, those platform extensions will actually be super, super, super useful for a slingshot in order to get a lot of those skills that he's been looking for. Because that yeah. small battlefield platform is a little bit more in towards like the middle of the platform. And it was so so we worked out so much better for Mono. So hopefully these more outer extended platforms will be better for Slingshot. And the yeah. pillar as well. Yeah, and also on top of that. This is basically FD for most yep. of it. And Mark is a character that kind of, against Banana specifically, might struggle to land. Oh, but 
Lightning doesn't get the tipper hitbox. It's still a lot of damage, though. Mono looking pretty good right now. Right as I say that, though, Slingshot taking back the control, but only for an instant. Such a back and forth. We haven't seen this kind of back and forth yet the set between the two, these two. I'm, fi I'm loving that we're seeing it here on, on a, a different stage. We're going to see that often. You know, like you said, this is a very FD-like stage, except for the two platforms and the very edges. So it might be a little bit more difficult for, uh, for Mons to kind of deal with the situation that, that oh, Diddy will no be putting jump, in. But a beautifully timed air dodge. Fourth throw? Yep. Man. Night Man's gonna wait. Yeah, mashed all the way for that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that Mono is not challenging uh, Slingshot off the ledge because he can't really afford to do that as did as uh, as Marth when he saw what had happened the last time he had tried doing that. But wow, beautiful, beautiful. Another one of those beautiful. forward tilts. It's kind of ooh, I think we actually saw him air dodge. And I think that air dodge actually turboxes him into the blast zone. Not even sure if there was a better option for him to pick at that point. He might have just been dead outright. But at the very least, this means that the game neck and neck once more. Oh. Wow. Now this is simply this is this is Mono's game right now. He is doing amazing at keeping at keeping Sinchon on his toes, and that platform extension is, lo is not doing well for Sinchon at the moment. That wow, down my in. God! The the that's. The, oh my, I can't even, I can't even. That hitbox of down air was so smart. Could cover so much of that of that, whole, that uh, 180 distance that will catch the shot so easily. Had, had it just sit, showed. Oh, I forgot, yes, I forgot that Diddy can cling on the, the pillar. Yes, of course. Yeah, I can delay things right there. Oh, he did not get the tip or hitbox at the down smash, and that's going to mean Slingshot is living just a little bit longer. And I also want to mention Diddy Kong's short size. Normally, neutral air is one of uh, Mama's favorite ways to kill at these percents, but because he's so tiny, he can't do a rising neutral air to reliably hit him. Instead, yeah, he's lo he's opting for uh, just getting as much damage as he can, maybe finishing things off with an up throw at like 180. Who knows? Well, I'm loving the patience from Mana right there. He had done there and then scooted back, basically waited for, for Sanctuary to recover the way he was. Grabs him, don't, don't head back to the repeating situation that Sanctuary keeps himself in. Look up here. That was He's not even the tipper so hitbox. Quick. Oh, Slingshot sees us trying to think a little bit. Had to redo his own situation right now. Yeah, I, I agree with it. Take your time if you need it. You have that invincibility for a reason. And I think that already it's paid off for him. Uh, got his head back in the game here. Mono, despite that lead, he might be dropping the stock pretty soon. He's not finding those hits that he had been. Right as I say that, though. Yeah, he's getting like a hit here and there, but not the long strings. Yeah, he's mostly just doing kind of like more chip damage, not getting the strings that Diddy's are really at that. I'm not I mean, Diddy's just that Slingshot is really good at hitting. He's having a hard time coming into the situation uh, with a clear plan in mind. Also, I'm loving the way that Mono is hanging out on those side platforms, really being patient, especially when Diddy Kong has banana. He is not going to uh, come down when he's not prepared to. That's gonna be it. Yep. Yeah. Not Even. too bad, not too bad. Definitely a winnable game for either player. Absolutely. Oh my god, it's game three. We have a set even for either player. Yeah. Oh, now oh, we're waiting. He has the lead. What do you get? Yeah, crawl yeah. all you want. He'll time you out. That's honestly, two and a half minutes, oh, like about three minutes he, on the clock. Feel like if, if he wants to slow it down to a crawl, a timeout is feasible. He can, but that, that, that platform is definitely what Diddy kind of wants to, to use against you. So he be very careful waiting where he needs to wait. Well, the thing is, yes, because he has monkey flip, but yep. if you're prepared for the monkey flip and you're able to react to it. Be I. Oh. So but, Mama said, you want to approach me? Oh, you're approaching me. Hey, oh, you're approaching me. Okay, Mono once again with the banana just chucks it. He knows that he has not been really capitalizing on it, so just take it out of the equation. That's a no jump Diddy, but he's fine. Another neutral get from the oh. ledge. <laughs> a turnaround dolphin, da dolphin slash? Okay, you're crazy. And, and that's it gotta is. do it. Oh, absolutely. Honestly, one thing that Mono did so fantastically is he would react to the exact space that Slingshot would be in and then put out that perfect mark hitbox, the down airs, those angled up Bs in order to catch him. Look at that. That, that was, was so beautiful. good. Wait, I won't, I won't go back to that. that I just want to just like, that was really pretty. Yeah, the reverse up B. He down reverse tilts and then... Reverse up B. That's so smart. And then the rest of the set right here, you'll see in a second. Just kind of going away going away from the opponent a little yeah. bit. And once again, he's just doing a great job. He throws out these moves. Just chilling. Yeah, he throws out these moves that don't get punished. Um, Let me go back and to that. then 
Yeah, if we can go back Thank to that you. last clip. Yeah, yeah. So he does a great job of throwing out these moves that don't get punished, and then throwing out that second hitbox that's so good at doing, like, you know, cleaning up. Also, I want to go back to the beginning of this clip here. If he did not go for this up B, think about what a terrible situation this would actually be for Marth. Jiddy Kong just got the roll behind, and then he's jumping here, right? He has so many ways. Now you are Marth trapped in the corner. This is actually actually pretty scary for you. So the fact that he was able to react and get that up B basically meant that he maintained his own advantage and got center stage immediately after.